Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2009 uh, Super Duty truck, the Ford Super Duty truck. Um, we recently just installed this um, Sync 1 Clarion uh, navigation upgrade. This is a 100% factory plug and play uh, that we offer here at infotainment.com. Um, but as you guys know, there's a lot of you that have the rear view camera in the rear view mirror here um, that you would like to display on your factory radio, your newly installed factory radio. So if I put the truck in reverse right now, you'll get your backup camera image here, but then you get a black screen here. And that's just because the camera feed from the factory rear camera is routed to the rear view mirror. So what we did is we designed a reroute cable uh, very easy to install. Um, you just remove the connector that's in the back of your factory mirror, plug it into the female end, plug the male end into the back of the mirror. We're gonna route the RCA cable uh, behind the headliner down the A-pillar, underneath the glove box, and then to behind the radio. Um, once you do that, you're gonna need to interface it with the factory radio. So in this particular case, this is the, um, the Sync 1. So this is the Sync 1 interface. If you have the Sync 2 um, or 3, uh, there's different inter interfaces for that. If you have an aftermarket radio in your vehicle, you don't need an interface because most aftermarket radios have an RCA input for backup camera. So this harness here is really cool because not only does it retain the backup camera image in your rear view mirror, but it also displays on your radio. Um, so as I mentioned, it's very easy to install. Uh, what you're gonna do is just disconnect the connector behind, and then you're just gonna plug it into the female. These are all keyed connectors. There's no cutting or splicing or anything like that. And then you plug it in here. Now, what you're gonna do, obviously, is you're gonna wanna tuck this up underneath the headliner. Um, and then you still get kind of the good looking, you know, black cable here. This is, um, this does have the, the tape on it. So um, what you can do, I'll just give you guys just a brief summary of what you have to do. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down your, um, your little overhead console here. Once you do that, there's two Phillips head screws here, which kind of release the headliner from uh, the rooftop. And then, there are three T20 Torx screws. There's one here, two on the other end. These just pop out, which give you just a little bit more room in the headliner here uh, to tuck your wires. On the A-pillar there, the windshield panel, there's two seven millimeter screws. These little guys here just pop out. You pull the two sevens out and that will be removed. At the end of the dash there, um, there's a little, um, um, little panel there that just pops out uh, that just gives you a little bit of play where you can route this RCA um, your glove box is really easy you push the tabs in on the sides the glove box drops and then you're gonna route it up behind the radio um, now to remove the dash here the bezel what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pop out these little trays here there's gonna be a seven millimeter screw here another seven millimeter screw there and then this panel here just pops out and I did this before just because I kind of wanted to make this video a little short but once you do that there's gonna be four screws that hold in your factory radio or your aftermarket radio whatever you have and then once you remove that you can interface the RCA so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like all right, so we got our RCA ran uh, behind the radio cavity here. Just takes about 10 minutes. Um, so we have it here. Now, as I mentioned, this is the factory upgrade that we do sell here at Infotainment. Um, so we are going to include in this particular situation um, the factory uh, rear camera interface. So basically you just plug it into that open port. You connect the two together and it's as easy as that. Now what we can do is slide this back into place and then button up our dash. All right, now that we have the dash all buttoned up and back in its place, let's go ahead and fire it up and check it out. 
So now what we can do is put the vehicle in reverse. And we got it on the nice big screen here and still in our rear view mirror. So this is an awesome safety feature because obviously you have a larger uh, field of vision here, but then at the same time when you're looking in the rear view mirror, you can also get a glimpse of it there. So it makes backing up so much easier, especially those of you who have trailers, you can see the hitch there. Um, it just makes things so much better. So anyways, this, this cable that we installed also works in the Expedition F-150, uh, other Ford vehicles as well. So check our website for compatibility. Um, as I mentioned, this is the factory radio upgrade. This is a very successful product for us. Um, check it out if, you were, if you're interested in doing the factory radio. Um, so as I mentioned, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.